Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you play a song called Stolen Dance by Milky Chance. And we're going to start off kind of walking through some of the bar chords. I'm going to make another video actually, and, and it might go on the second channel, but, but hopefully there'll be a link there that so, so that you can look at it. If you don't want to play bar chords and you still love this song and you want to play along with it, then there should be a link there that's like easy. Um, but we're going to kind of talk about the, how he plays it in the, the video and kind of work the, the bar chords. And we start on a G sharp minor chord. Normally you do this as a bar on fourth fret. 3rd finger on the A string 6th fret, pinky on the D string 6th fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G sharp minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now you may also dig on lifting off the pinky and kind of making that a G sharp minor 7 or adding in the pinky on the B7 for a G sharp minor, kind of working those voicings. And then from the G sharp minor we go to an F sharp major chord. And normally you do this as a 2nd fret bar, 2nd finger on the G string 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the A 4th fret, pinky on the D 4th fret. And if you show them all those together, it sounds an F sharp major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also dig on lifting off the pinky and making that F sharp 7 randomly because that's the 5 chord in the key. Or you could add in the pinky on the B 5th fret for an F sharp 7. And from the F sharp, we go to an E major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the G 1st fret, 2nd finger on the A 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the D 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now randomly, you could also play that same shape, or play, play that same chord, by doing 2nd finger on the G, 3rd finger on the A, pinky on the D string. And that might actually make that change from the F sharp major a little bit easier, because you could just lift the bar up and kind of slide those guys into the E major. So if you kind of dig on that, that might be a cool change. And then from the E major, we'd be going to a B major chord. Now you could do this as a 2nd fret bar, 3rd finger with a D, G, and B for a B major. And in the video it looks like, like Milk is going all the way up to 7th fret for a bar. So you could do the 7th fret bar, 2nd finger on the G string, 8th fret, 3rd finger on the A9, pinky on the D9. Kind of working that for your B major chord. And then from the B major we'd be going to a D sharp major chord. <laughs> AKA an E flat major, depending on which way you want to look at it. Now the way he's playing this in the video is it's a 3rd fret bar, 2nd finger on the B th string, 4th fret, 3rd finger on the D, 5th, pinky on the A string, 6th, like a little C shape moved up, so you kind of dig on pump using that shape, or you could play another bar actually, if you dig on that other B major shape, we're just kind of doing the, the double bar idea, you could take that shape and just slide it up to 6th and 8th, so now I got 6th fret bar, 3rd finger over the D, G, and B on the 8th fret, I'm kind of working that for your E flat major sharp major. Now you could also turn it into a 7 chord and play D sharp 7. If you kind of dig on that, kind of bar 6, 3rd finger on the D8, pinky on the B8. Or if you want to jazz it up even more, you can use a D sharp 9 by doing 1st finger on the D5, 2nd finger on the A string, 6th fret, 3rd finger of the G, B, and E on the 6th fret, kind of 3rd finger bar on So if you kind of dig on that, that might be kind of a way to do it too. And through our verses, actually, we end up repeating that progression three times, or four times, and then we kind of stay and kind of hang out on, on the E flat at the end. Now strumming wise, there's a couple options here. You could work just a down idea, kind of a G sharp minor for four. And this is weird because the G sharp minor and F sharp up front kind of half. So you may want to think one, two, three, four on the G sharp minor, one, two, three, four on the F sharp, and then E for eight, and then the B for eight, and then the D sharp for eight, kind of through that intro. Another way to work it is, is using a strum pattern. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down. So you take the E major, because it's easy on the hand, and just try that a lot. You got down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. And the weird part is the G sharp. 
sharp minor and the F sharp half. So you may want to do just a down down on those chords. And then do the whole pattern on the E major. The whole pattern on the B major. And then the whole pattern on the D sharp major. So do that intro and all the way through. You got G sharp minor down, down, F sharp down, down, up, E down, down, up, up, down, up, B down, up, up, down, up, B sharp down, up, down, up. Or something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw in a bass for the chord. So on the G sharp minor, you have low E for the bass. On the F sharp major, you have low E for the bass. On the E major, you have low E for the bass. On the B major, on second fret, you have A for the bass. On the seventh fret, you have the low E string for the bass. And on the D sharp major, you have that A string for the bass. So you could add basses. And then you have G sharp minor with a bass, down F sharp with a bass, down up E with a bass. Down, up, down, B with a bass, down, up, down, D sharp with a bass, down, up, down, up. Kind of working that idea through, through the intro and the verse. Or another option is to do this as a finger style. This is more of, of what Milk is doing. And basically the way it kind of works is thumb kind of becomes your bass player for the E and the A string. And you can line up your index, middle, and ring finger on the D, G, and B strings. And what can be very cool is to kind of think bass, chord, chord. Thumb, fingers, fingers, and your whole pattern actually kind of feeling the whole four beats would kind of be doing that pattern twice, kind of a bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord. One, two, three, four would kind of be your whole measure. So it's a little weird because on the G sharp minor you do that that bass chord chord one time, F sharp major with the bass chord chord one time, and then the E major twice major twice and then the D sharp major or twice and then you kind of start that over again so through that intro you have the G sharp minor F sharp E B E D sharp and then through the verse we actually end up repeating that so through the whole verse and this is kind of cool because you hang out on the D sharp at the very end so through the whole first verse you have that G sharp minor, F sharp, E, B, D sharp, G sharp minor, F sharp, E, B, D sharp, G sharp minor, F sharp, E, B, D sharp, G sharp minor, F sharp, E. And our chorus takes a lot of those same things we were just talking about and kind of mixes them up. So we try it with just the down idea. You'd have the E, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, B, B sharp, half a G sharp, half a D F sharp, E, B, E, or D sharp, G sharp minor, F sharp. F sharp before we go right back into kind of our, our, our next verse, our intro and then kind of a verse return. So if you try that with the fingers idea, then you have the E, B, D sharp, G sharp minor, F sharp, E major, B major, D sharp, G sharp minor, F sharp, E. progression kind of G sharp F sharp E B D sharp G sharp minor 
have sharpened me And then from there, then we'd be repeating our verse and chorus and, and kind of our intro kind of coming back through the song. But that's the basics of how you could kind of strum through and, and finger style. Stolen Dance by Milky Chance. So good luck. <laughs>